Внимание! Активирована программа радиоактивный пепел. Red Alert in a Soviet-style nuclear bunker, where a couple of Russians are racing to prevent a catastrophic strike on the United States. Nuclear bombs will be launched in one hour. The aim of the quest, the latest gaming craze in Moscow, is to find the nuclear launch codes and deactivate a hidden red button. It's already been pressed by a mad Russian general. Of course, it's complete fantasy, but amid the current tensions with Russia, it all feels a little unsettling. Are you worried that something like this could happen in real life? Of Actually, course. Actually, I'm not. No, I'm not, I'm not thinking about it. I'm worried because it's very stupid information for both sides. And I know that normal people in all over the world, they don't want any war. Now I know that in school in Russia, they, told, they tell uh, to the children the same that uh, our main enemy is the US and uh, it's, it's re it sounds ridiculous for me and I, 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 I'm totally sure that war is impossible. But not all Russians agree. National television has been broadcasting a mass training exercise involving up to 40 million people across the country to prepare responses, says the government, for a chemical or nuclear attack. It's the biggest rehearsal of its kind since the collapse of the Soviet Union and suggests the Kremlin, at least, wants Russians to take the threat of war very seriously. Of course, all-out conflict between Russia and the West remains highly unlikely. The principle of mutually assured destruction still holds, just like it did during the Cold War. But with tensions growing over Syria, Ukraine and the Baltic states, Analysts say a small risk of contact, misunderstanding and escalation between the nuclear superpowers has become very real. And it's a risk the Kremlin seems keen to spotlight, releasing details of its latest intercontinental ballistic missile being added to its nuclear arsenal. The Satan II, as it's known, will be one of the world's most destructive weapons guaranteeing Russia's place as a top nuclear power. State television has also upped its hardline rhetoric. In its flagship current affairs show, Russia's top state news anchor, dubbed by critics as the Kremlin's propaganda-in-chief, recently issued a stark warning of global war if, for instance, Russian and US forces clash in Syria. Brutish behaviour towards Russia, declared Dmitry Kisilov, could have nuclear dimensions. It is an apocalyptic vision that adds a further sense of realism to the fantasy quest being acted out by gamers in Moscow. This time, a Cold War nuclear holocaust is averted Hopefully one in the real world will be two. Matthew Chance, CNN Moscow.